This video will explain deep compression. Deep compression is a technique to dramatically reduce the file size of deep neural networks. The results of this paper reduce AlexNet by 35 times. This results in a reduction from 240 megabytes to 6.9. They also reduce VGG16 by a factor of 49 from 552 megabytes to 11.3. This is really interesting for mobile developers, especially because if you have an app which is over 100 megabytes, you'll get the uh, user will get this extra notification and maybe won't download your app. In addition, having these large file sizes in your apps results in higher energy consumption and uh, larger file size when people are looking to clear some space on their phones. So the way that deep compression works is a three-stage compression pipeline of pruning, quantization, and Huffman coding. Pruning works by reducing the number of connections or weights by 9 times to 13 times in this paper. The way that they do this is that they go through the weights in the neural network and they remove the weights that are below a certain threshold. So for example, if a neural network weight is 0 or maybe 0 0.1 or negative 0 0.1, it would be completely masked out and they would no longer uh, use this in the matrix multiplications that compute the neural network output. So after they prune the weights, they store it in this compressed sparse row format in order to save space. And what this does is it indexes the index difference between the weights that haven't been masked out. After pruning, they quantize the weights. And this is the most interesting idea to me. Quantization is this idea of weight sharing, and it can really speed up this uh, training and storage requirement. So what they would do is they would use a k-means algorithm to cluster the weights into similar groups. So for example here, all the weights that are labeled to green map to minus one, the weights labeled as orange map to zero, and so on. So what they do is they uh, now can represent all the weights in the network with like three bits because they're only using, say like if you have three bits you can represent eight weights, two to the three. And they would uh, set every weight in the network to be one of these quantized weights from the code book. Then what they would do is they would train the network and they would still do the partial derivative with respect to each weight even though they all share the same weight. But then they're going to aggregate each of these, uh, like the partial derivative that explains how much the codebook contributed to each of the individual losses. And they're going to aggregate this to effectively train the codebook. So the initial centroids are derived after the full training and then they're fine-tuned after they're quantized. So in quantizing an AlexNet, they use 8 bits for the convolutional layers and 5 bits for the fully connected layers. So using 5 bits in the quantization means that you have 32 different values for the weights that can be used in the neural network. And amazingly, this doesn't have any loss of accuracy when they do it in this experiment. So again, quantization reduces the number of bits in the fully connected layers from 32 bits, meaning that there are 2 to the 32 different values the weights can take on, to 5, meaning 32 values they can take on. So this equation right here shows how uh, the compression rate when using quantization. This plot shows how the code books, how the weights tend to be distributed. And it's pretty interesting to see that, they that they're in this uh, bimodal structure where there are basically two Gaussians next to each other for the distribution of the weights in the deep neural network. So once they have quantized the weights, they turn to Huffman encoding. And Huffman encoding is a technique used in data compression to basically uh, take advantage of the bias distribution of values. So for example, in this bimodal distribution, most of the values lie at the peak. So what you might do is you would use uh, like 0 or 0, 1 or something like that to encode for this really frequent uh, occurring value and then you would use the longer bits to, to encode the rare uh, values. And this, this is like a classical technique in data compression that really reduces file size and things like JPEG or you know PNG, stuff like that. So these are the results across different networks that they compress using the three-stage pipeline of pruning, quantization, and Huffman encoding. They're all pretty amazing compression, compression rates, especially when you look at the number of parameters and the size of the file. So these are the results on the AlexNet datasets, uh, AlexNet model. The first column shows the percentage of the weights that are pruned then the weight bits after pruning plus quantization, and then it shows how the uh, pruning, quantization, and Huffman coding interact together to really achieve a massive compression rate. Thanks for watching this video on deep compression. The paper link is provided in the description. Please subscribe to Henry AI Labs for more deep learning videos.